So the first question you're probably asking yourself is, well, what are human rights? Well, let's break it down. Human rights have two parts. The human part and the rights part. So let's focus on them one by one. The human. Now, chances are, if you're watching this, you're human. I, I know that's like, woo, I'm making a gamble right there, but I bet you're human. Maybe you're an intelligent ape. Maybe you're a cat that just walked across the keyboard. But I'm going to assume that you're human. Now, second, rights. This rights are an idea that can be pretty complicated. If you look over here, this is a little uh, screenshot of the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy page on rights. It's 24 pages long. I'm not gonna go into that detail. This is pretty much all you need to know about rights. To have a right, if you have a right, which means that someone somewhere has a duty to do something for you or to not do something to you. Human rights mean ultimately that every single human has a special characteristic that imposes a duty on someone else. That's it, that's what human rights are. One thing that's probably confusing you uh, and certainly confuse me, what is the difference between civil rights and human rights? I didn't know this before I went to law school, and I bet most of you watching this don't know this either. The simple difference is that civil rights come from, are, are rights that come from some sort of uh, national or regional document. What do I mean by that? Well, for the United States and for most other countries, civil rights come from the Constitution. The Constitution pr provides these rights to all citizens and all residents that are living in that country. Uh, the EU has something similar, the Charter of Fundamental Rights. It, apply, it provides the fundamental rights for all EU citizens and residents. And this is the key difference. Civil rights apply to citizens and residents, while human rights are universal. Everyone has human rights. That's it. I hope you liked my first video. Click subscribe if you're interested in this topic, and uh, I hope to see you again next time.